lady who was using perfume no? to wash the feet of Jesus. It would have been better to give it to the poor. But Jesus knew their thoughts and went against the idea. Same. Maliki na lang ito mga siguri ang yun. Golden. Most trances. Golden. The way to redeem the soul. I'm effective. I'm a good parish priest. No, 
know the fruitfulness of your being parish priest depends on your holiness as a priest. If you are not an effective witness of God's word and of your own vocation, you cannot be a fruitful priest to proclaim that word. When you talk about honesty, integrity, and sincerity to people, they just look at you and say, Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> so we know he's not sincere, he's not honest. He's a liar. So how can you be effective when you say something that is of the value of the kingdom and the people know that you are not true to that value? Where that witness? And this means spirituality. Spirituality is not only saying devotion, saying the rosary. These are devotional practices that are very important, but they are not at the center of spirituality. You don't have the dimension of the spirituality of a Catholic capital minister. Missionary disciple, disciple in transformative mission. The catechal, catechal, the cate, the catechal minister must have a passion for Christ and his gospel. His and her life, or her life, must be centered on Christ. A passion, a love for the Lord, centering one's life on the Lord. After all, He is the beloved Master and Teacher, and you are the disciple. A passion. Therefore, prayer. Prayer with the Lord, prayer to the Lord. It's where personal encounter of the Lord is often encountered. Personal encounter is often realized there in prayer. And if you have a special big experience, we call it religious big experience, it is the time when you, in the midst of noise and business, suddenly are enveloped with the love of the Lord. And yet everything else disappears. Noise, destruction, disappear. You are there, possessed by the Lord. And you think it might take 15 minutes? No, maybe it's only 10, 15 seconds. But you are totally enveloped by the Lord. Possessed by the Lord. Personal encounter. It cannot happen in your life when you are in prayer. Having the values attitudes of Jesus. Paul said, have the attitude of Jesus. And what is this attitude? The attitude of poverty and spirit. The reading of the Antiphon, one of the Antiphons today, he became poor so that he might be enriched. Our here in spirit, of spirit, humility. The Lord Jesus, humble and not uh, uh, dominant or domineering. Humble. What is that Come to me. For I am. One time, my, a priest was asked, uh, uh, can you recite the, going to the embassy, yes? can you recite the uh, Lord's Prayer in Latin? No, pero kung kantahin ko, what remember ko? Oh, sige, kanta. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, Ah, okay, you're a priest. Okay, here's your visa. Why did I tell that story? Ah, they can't afford. Basta may wish ng bordo. Yeah. Having the values. Discerning attitude. To do the Father's will. 
know, the to the Father's will. And the Lord Jesus said to go to the desert, to the mountain, to pray to the Father, and communion in communion with Him in prayer, and to discern the Father's will for Him. What to do? Is it really true, Father, that you want me to die on the cross? Is it really true? And yet, at the end, even at the Garden of Gethsemane, he will, his will, his human will will say, uh, take away, uh, take away this couple suffering, but not my will, yours be done. Discerning attitude, obedience to God's will, authentic discipleship, and this are, this are passion for Christ. Have the, have the attitude and the values that Christ did. A passion for humanity. Another important dimension of the catechetical ministry. Another dimension is spirituality. Compassionate love and mercy. Especially for those in need. Jesus had compassion for the multitudes. And the multitudes are those who are hungry for food, hungry for God's word, and compassion, compassion, selfless loving service. This is what a catechetical minister should be. Selfless service. My own important warning of Pope Francis in his evangelical about about people who work for the church, they soon abandon their enthusiasm and look for cleaner pastures because the cleaner pastures are like much cleaner there. You must matter as well. Selfless loving service, passion for the kingdom, and passion for the kingdom is social transformation, engagement in transforming faith in action. But the Jesuits call faith that does justice. It, does, it is not a faith that just lies there, it's about faith that between you and God only. It is faith in God expressed in action of mercy and compassion outside. Transforming our society for the better. It is raising the consciousness of people regarding social issues, the need for collaborative action with peoples of other faiths, with other categories, with other dioceses, in order to make changes in society. Creative flexibility. The Lord said, the Sabbath is not Man is not made for the Sabbath. Man is made, Sabbath is made for man. It is like that. There is a rule, but the rule, you can go beyond the rules. Structure, you can go beyond the structures in order to act for social transformation. Then a passion for mission, the catechetical minister as a renewing missionary design. You are a disciple and at the same time missionary. From the time you were baptized, at the time you had perhaps a canonical mission for those who were trained catechists. At the end of their graduation, at their graduation, they are given a canonical mission canonica. And the bishop sends them on mission. Yeah. Passion for mission, a renewing missionary. And prayer, without prayer, nothing is possible. And therefore, it is absolutely imperative in church renewal. Why? Because it is the Lord who builds His house. It is the Lord who builds His church. And we are simply His co-workers. And as co-workers, we commend our efforts to renew the church to Him and to and trust our efforts to the Lord Jesus, who alone builds His church. 
So in prayer, we do these things on bended knees. On bended knees. It's not a simple bending of the knees. It is the act of prayerfulness, whether you're standing up in prayer. My best position by prayer, I think, is not so much kneeling. It is sitting down. I was told during a 30-day retreat that St. Ignatius liked to pray while resting in bed. I tried to do that. I fell asleep. <laughs> so, I tried kneeling down. It was difficult. So, I sat down and it was the best. But choose your own position to pray. It's not really on bed that is literally. What is important is the figurative meaning of bendedness. Bendedness is an attitude of adoration and piety before the Lord. Some cultures do not kneel, they sit down. Other cultures do not genuflect, they bow. So, dependentness is a figurative image of adoration, reverence, and awe in the presence of the Lord. Concluding section, the Marian character. We cannot forget Mary. After all, Mary was at the center of the reign of Pentecost. When the renewing spirit came down upon the apostles and changed their attitude from timidity and fear to courage and zeal, Mary was with them the bits. She represented to the apostles the memory of Jesus. She was the treasury of the memory of the Lord. From infancy to death. Therefore, Mary, mother of the church. And she is also accompanying the church through the ages of renewal, whether it was dark ages of the church when popes were not really popes when popes were competing with other popes when popes were living licentious life Mary was there accompanying the church despite its sinfulness leading the church to Jesus reformation after reformation Vatican Mary is the mother of the church in the mission that is in constant renewal. And if the church, then also the catechetical minister, a disciple, the mother of the renewing catechetical minister. Maraming salamat. Sorry, over time ako, maraming story, story. I don't know if you have a story. We look at each other. Huh? My question, question. My forum or my health brain. Until what time am I? Ah, my. Okay, uh, maka gusto niya mag-question, question. Ah, si Monsignor, yeah. You ask the question, Monsignor Jerry will answer. 